This vlog is hosted by Moses Ludell and sponsored by Mopar. I have two Mopar filters sitting on this countertop. And although I enjoy plugging Mopar for OEM quality and the kind of service parts that provide the longevity that we have become accustomed to with Chrysler trucks and Jeep vehicles, the reason why I show these two oil filters is that they are engineered for the specific engine application. This filter in particular is for the 4-liter Jeep engine, AMC design engines like the inline 6-cylinders and even the V8s run at very high oil pressures. Given that they run at higher oil pressures, I want to use the original equipment oil filter to be assured that the bypass pressure in this filter is a matchup for the oil pressure and volume that that engine is designed to produce. I want to use this filter because I know it will not bypass prematurely or cause issues with lack of filtration and pressure drop across the top of the filter or any of that. It also has the right micron filtration for that high volume, high oil pressure system and the ability to keep this engine alive. Four liter engines run with filters like this and service interval changes using Mopar products are known to run 250,000 plus miles. On the Dodge Cummins engine, I'm even more particular. I want to use the Cummins recommended filter and Mopar's labeling on this filter is my assurance that the filter meets the Cummins specifications. And that's critical. If I expect to get 300 to 500,000 miles out of the 5.9 liter Cummins engine in our 05 Dodge Ram 3500 truck, I'm going to stick with Cummins rated filters and especially the Mopar brand, where Mopar engineers have sized and rated this filter to meet the Cummins standard. That said, you'll notice that even the labeling on the boxes includes a genuine Cummins logo. So we know for sure that this filter is Cummins recommended. Going further with oil filter engineering, some of the concerns we have are pressure drop, I mentioned that, across the filter when the micron filtration or the flow of the filter itself by design is too great and it literally causes a drop of oil pressure across the filter. Some aftermarket filters are so well engineered that they actually offer the same or better filtration than the original equipment filters with minimal or no pressure drop across the filter. But that's the kind of characteristics that you're looking for and those things that you're concerned about and a simple test for that is Note with a new OEM filter what the pressure reads on the gauge at various engine speeds and loads and with an aftermarket filter see if the oil pressure reads the same. Under no circumstances am I looking for bargain filters and I find that it's cost effective to use Mopar filters on the Chrysler engines or GM filters on General Motors engines or from Moco official Ford filters on the Ford engines. The same applies to Toyota Land Rover, Nissan, any vehicle that has a specifically engineered filter for the engine's design. I trust that this has been helpful. If you have further questions about engine oils or specific applications of oils and filters, send a question to me at qanda at fordwdmechanics with an x dot com and I'll be sure to share your question and my answer right here, live at the Live Tech Q&A.